to the people fangirling over Vladimir Putin right now and his interview with Tucker Carlson, are you good? <laughs> like, I'm, I'm dead ass right now. I can't even, like, make jokes about it. I'm all for the freedom of press and getting two sides to every story. But too many people in the United States lack the critical thinking to handle this kind of information. Now, I know a lot of people on the right thought that they were going to get some crazy revelation from this interview. And all you got was a boring ass history lesson and Tucker Carlson giggling like a schoolgirl with Vladimir Putin. <laughs> what was he going to come out and say? Yes, United States, keep funding the war against us. You're right in doing so. Make it harder for us to achieve what we want to achieve. Good job. I am no United States defender. I know the atrocities that our country has committed in order to maintain their global standing. But Russia is not some innocent, defenseless country. They are a nuclear superpower. He had everything to gain by doing this interview. And what I summed up from it is basically, let me do whatever I want and the war will end. Now, at the end of the day, I'm a humanist. And the fact that people are being used as pawns in order for the higher ups to dick swing with each other is revolting to me. And having Vladimir Putin accuse us of being propagandists coming from his mouth is rich. The man that sat half naked on a horse to prove how tough he is. For Mother Russia. When all the world leaders come together to talk shit about each other, it reminds me of this meme. They're all the same and they're all pointing the finger at each other. They're all bad guys. Number one, because they're men. And number two, it's because they're men. And they say women are catty and emotional. What a waste of two hours of my life. God help us.